Today I'm going to show you a technique in how to move your reviews from the lower part, your reviews are all the way at the bottom, to your photos, to the first thing and the most important thing that Airbnb guests look at. So to put some color around that, we're going to take a look at this listing here. And as you all know, the reviews are all the way down at the bottom here. You have to scroll all the way down at the bottom, just above where you describe your neighborhood and the, the map, the location map. So sometimes they don't even get all the way down here. So it's sometimes a good idea to bring your reviews up. Uh, you can do that in the form of text. You can actually highlight a bit of text and bring it up in the listing. Or the strategy we're going to go over today is you're going to screenshot a portion of the page and bring it up to your photos. So if this particular host doesn't have super positive reviews, um, so we're not going to, normally what I would do is I would screenshot one of these reviews and add it up there with text. But something just as equal, maybe even better because it's more visual, is we're going to highlight the number of reviews and that they're all five stars. So let's get to it. So you're going to want to you're going to want to bring the screen over. Okay. Scroll up to if you wanted a review or in this case the process will be the same, just the image is going to be different. So we want uh, this we want to have this here. So what I'm going to do is uh, on a Mac it's Command Shift 4. I'm going to take this and you want it to be about a square. So here you can see 614 by 312. We're going to get those numbers to be exactly the same because that's what that's what Airbnb likes so they don't crop it out. So we'll give it a test run here. So you can see it's at uh, 500. So if I come down Sometimes it might take a few goes, so 500, 500, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, but pretty darn close. So these are pixels, so two pixels. It's not even noticeable by the human eye. All right, so we will we'll screenshot it, and then we'll open this image back up. Find where you have the screenshot saved, bring it down. And then this part is key because I clean it up a bit. Here you can just you can just put this in your photos, that's fine. But to make it look a bit nicer, what I do is I will grab I will grab a portion of this white part, I will copy and paste it. Usually it gets pasted somewhere, so you have to just find it. Here it is here. And what I want to do is hide out this stuff that I don't want. I'm going to have to make a thinner one to hide out the search box. Copy, paste. I'll have to find it, usually in the middle. There we go. I'll drag it open. Now we can hide the search box. Okay, these lines here are okay. We can keep them. So I will save this. <clears throat> and then go into the listing, find your, go into the back end, edit your photos. Scroll down to the bottom where you can add another photo, find it within your desktop, give it a second to load. And then something I usually put uh, as, a, as a photo caption is something like this. Be sure to check out the rest of my five star reviews below. And usually I'll move this, it depends on the photos, but usually I'll move it between the fourth and sixth photo. So here, we'll put it here at the seventh photo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh photo, okay? So how does that look in real life? By the way, if you were gonna screenshot one with text, here's the, here's the final product. After you whited out the sections that you didn't want, this is what it would look like. 
And here is what it looks like, that same one, in the actual listing. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Here's another example. If we click in, here's what it looks like. And here I've used the five. This is where you respond to reviews. So first you're gonna to want to, that's a good point. First you're gonna to want to respond to reviews. If you want to, if you want a review, ideally you're gonna to want to respond to reviews. How do you do that? You're gonna to wanna to go here to your profile. And then on the left hand column, there will be, okay, you'll click edit profile. And then on the left hand column, there'll be reviews section. So you click the reviews. And here is where you'll be able to respond to all of your listing reviews. Well, not all of them, uh, the ones within the past month or so. And uh, there you go. So this is, again, it's a good strategy to bring your reviews up, especially if you, if you have a really long, overly positive one. You can bring it up and say, hey, look at me, look at, look at all these. I don't just get simple reviews. I get, uh, I get these really long, positive reviews. And I respond to them. I'm a good host. And the length of the review is a ranking factor. Airbnb takes that into consideration. If, if you have a review that says good listing, or if you have a review uh, like this one that's five, six, seven lines long, this is a powerful review. This guest took some time to write a personalized review of your listing. And there you have it. Let me know if you have any, any questions in the, in the comments you can send directly to the instructor and I'll be happy to answer them. Ciao!